Everyone, in this video we're going to talk about sequences. A sequence is a function whose domain is the set of positive integers. Yeah, the domain. We can't put in values like 1.5 or 3.2 or 3.1 or 159 or anything like that. The domain will consist of values like 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Positive integers. So here's an example of a sequence. a sub n equals n cubed plus 2 times n. And we'll find the first term of the sequence. That would be a sub 1. a sub 1, we just substitute a 1 for n. You get 1 cubed plus 2 times 1, which is 3. So there's the first term of the sequence. We can find the second term. a sub 2 would be 2 cubed plus 2 times 2, which is 8 plus 4 equal to 12. And it's just this, this simple. We'll find one more term here. How about a sub 3? That's the third term of the sequence. Substitute a 3. 3 cubed plus 2 times 3. And you get 27 plus 6, which is 33. And if you want, you can write these terms in this format. Here's my terms. 3, comma, 12, comma, 33, comma, dot, dot, dot. These are the terms of the sequence. This is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term, etc. If we made a graph, all right, this wouldn't be some smooth curve or anything like that. It'd be a bunch of dots. It'd be a bunch of dots actually representing that curve, okay? Because we're only putting in 1, 2, 3, etc. So, um, that's one example of a sequence. One more example is a recursively defined sequence. So let me give you an example of that. Um, how about a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 plus 5. I'm going to say this is true for n greater than or equal to 2. And Yes, this is a recursively defined sequence, but you need to be given a seed, the first term, a seed. So, in this example, let's say a sub 1 equal 12. Okay, that gets it going. So, we have the first term. This just means we're going to use this equation here to find all the remaining terms. There's actually an infinite amount. But we'll find the second term and the third term. Alright, to find the second term. A sub 2. This is a sub n minus 1, so this would be a sub 2 minus 1, which is a sub 1, plus 5. An easy way to say this is your next term will be the previous term plus 5. Keep it simple. And so the first term is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. Okay, we'll get one more term. Let's get the third term. a sub 3 equals the, oh, the previous term, a sub 2 plus 5. a sub 3 equals the 17 plus 5, which is 22. And I could write it in this format. Here's all my terms. So I'll put them right here. My first term is a 12. My second term is a 17. My third term is a 22. And I'm sure you see the pattern here. Just to keep increases by five. All right, there's a name for that. <clears throat> it's called an arithmetic sequence. We'll talk about that in a future video. So that's sequences. And this was a recursively defined sequence. That's it.